Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-87 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the two aluminum rods A, B and A, C having diameter of 10 mm and 8 mm respectively determine the largest vertical force P that can be supported. The allowable tensile stress for aluminum is 150 megapascal. So you can see this is rod AC and this is rod AB that is acted upon by a load of P. This member AB makes angle 45 degree with the horizontal and allowable uh, tensile stress is 150 megapascal. So you have to find this P load that can be applied on this system. So let's start the solution. So you can see due to this force there will be a normal load in rod AC and B, AB. So how we will find this? So let me write it. The normal force developed in member in member AB and AC can be find or can be determined by considering by considering equilibrium equilibrium of joint A. So what does it mean? It means that we will take joint A and we will apply equilibrium condition so let this is your point a so you can see uh, at point a the load due to this member ac will be fac that this is fac you have p load that is acting downward clear and the load fab which is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal so fab this makes 45 degree with the horizontal so we'll find this fa and fab and fac by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is p acting downward so i will write minus p the other force which is the vertical component of this fab so this fab will have two component one is this one this will be fab cos of 45 degree and the other one is vertical component which which is fab sine of 45 degree so the other component vertical component is this one so minus p plus fab sine of 45 degree is equal to 0 so from here this p will be equal to fab sine of 45 degree that this is equation number one now we'll apply another equation of equilibrium at joint a that is sum of all force along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction taken as positive so fac is in negative direction so fac plus this fab cos of 45 degree is equal to zero so from here you will get FAC is equal to FAB cos of 45 degree and let this is equation number 2. Now we will calculate force P calculate first we will calculate force P due to allowable tensile stress and diameter DAB so we know that allowable tensile stress is equal to force in rod AB divided by area of AB. So allowable bending stress is 150 megapascal. You can see this is 150 megapascal. So I will write 150 into 10 raised to power 6 is equal to FAB which is not known divided by area of AB. So pi by 4 diameter of AB is given as 0 0.01 meter so 0 0.01 whole square now we will multiply this pi by 4 into 0 0.01 square on both sides so it will give us fab so 
when you calculate it so you will get fab will be equal to 11.78 kilo newton now put this fab in equation number one which is p is equal to fab sine of 45 degree so 11.78 into sine of 45 degree will give you p and this p will be equal to 8.33 kilo newton and this p is based on allowable tensile stress in and diameter of rod ab now what we will do is that we will calculate this p for the rod ac so allowable and diameter of ac we will calculate p so we know that allowable bending stress or tensile stress in f in rod ac will be f ac divided by area of ac so that is 150 megapascal so 115 10 to power 6 fac is not known and diameter of ac is pi by 4 dac and dac 0 0.008 square then check it d of ac 0 0.008 so from here fac will be equal to pi by 4 multiply by 0 0.008 square multiply by 150 into 10 to the power 6 so when you calculate it you will get fac will be equal to 7.540 kilo newton now put this put fac in equation number 2 what is equation number 2 so equation number 2 is this one so fac will be equal to feb cos of 45 degree and from here we will get fab is equal to fac divided by cos of 45 degree so put the value 7.540 divided by cos of 45 degree will give you fab why we are calculating fab so this fab will be equal to 10.66 kilo newton we are finding fab because fab is equal to p divided by sine of 45 degree from equation number one so put fab in equation number one so you, what was equation number one is that p is equal to fab sine of 45 degree so from here p is equal to 10.66 into sine of 45 sine of 45 degree and you will get p will be equal to 7.54 kilo newton now this p load is load due to diameter of ac in allowable uh, tensile stress in rod ac now you have two value one is this one and other one is this one so what we will do is we are for safety purpose we will choose we will choose the smallest one choose because it will be the safer choose p is equal to 7.54 kilo newton which is the answer of our this question and that was all about this problem 1-87 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me